Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create preset specific effects using effects chains in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you a quicker way of adding effects to our tracks. And we could do this with preset specific effects or plugins using effects chains. Let's take a look. I have a project in front of me here, and I've created four tracks to use as effects returns. Let's give them some names. I'm going to use this one as a drum reverb. So I'll name it drum verb. And the next one we're going to use as a vocal reverb. So I'll name it vocal verb. Then this one we're going to use a delay. So I'll name it echo. And then finally, for this one, I'm going to create an eighth note delay. Now, these two tracks for reverbs are going to use the same reverb plugin. And the same thing with the two delay tracks. We'll use the same delay plugin, but we're going to use different presets. So let's start with the drum verb. Hit the effects button. Let's go to the Reaper effects and choose reverbate. And because we're making this an effects return, we'll turn off the dry sound and bring up the wet. And for this sound, I'm going to make the room a bit bigger. I'm going to change the dampening to be a bit damper to make it darker. And I'm also going to bring down the low pass filter to about seven kilohertz to make it sound darker as a drum reverb. So this is good for this effect. But for the vocal reverb, once again, we we'll use the same plugin, reverberate, bring down the dry, bring up the wet. But for this sound, I'm going to make the room a lot bigger, about 95, make the dampening brighter, about 10, and bring up the delay or the pre delay. Now, for the delay or the echo, we can use the plugin read delay. And we'll set it up with no dry. And it's just the length to be about 180 milliseconds. And let's pan it to the left, add another tap, make it a bit bigger, and pan this one to the right. So to create a stereo echo. And for this track, we'll use the same plugin, read delay, but we'll set it a bit differently. Bring down the dry, change this to one eighth note. Pan it to the left, make another tap, set it to two eighth notes, pan it to the right, create another one for three eighth notes, pan this one to the left, and one more, four eighth notes, and pan it to the right. So it's going to create a ping pong effect. Close this one, and we're ready to go. So as you can tell, this takes a lot of time. So we can make this a lot quicker if we just saved our presets like this. Go to the first one, save the preset right here. We'll name it drum verb. Go to the second one and name it vocal verb. Go to the echo and name it echo. And go to the delay and name it eighth note delay. So this should speed things up a bit. Let's start over. But we still have to add them one by one. Go to the Reaper plugins, reverberate, change the preset to drum verb. Do the same for the vocal. Vocal verb. And for the echo, we'll choose read a delay, an echo, and finally, read a delay as an eighth note delay. And that's a little bit quicker, but it's not as fast as it could be. Instead, we can just save these as effects chains. So let's start with the first one, and let's rename 
the effects instance. Right click it, rename it right here, drum verb. Then we could save it by right clicking as an effects chain. Save selected effects as chain, name it drum verb, and do the same with the others. Rename the effects instance, vocal verb, right click, effects chain, save selected effects as chain, name this vocal verb, do the same with the echo, name it echo, And finally, our eighth note delay. Save selected effects as chain. And now, a much quicker way of working. Let's delete all these. Is to simply select the first one. And instead of going over here and choosing reverberate, we could just go to the effects chains, and then choose drum verb. And it opens up with that named drum verb, which is very useful in windows like this, or in the mixer. We can see it says drum verb, and it already starts with that preset right here. So it saves all that information in the effects chain. And just do the same thing with each one. For the vocal verb, just choose the effects chain, vocal verb, and it's all set up with the name and the preset ready to go. Do the same with the echo, and finally, the eighth note delay. And again, if we see it in the mixer, we could see the names right here. It's a lot clearer, and the presets are all brought in automatically. And if we want to do this even quicker, we could assign a keyboard shortcut to each effects chain. Let's clear this again, open it up, go to the effects chains, go to drum verb and right click, create shortcut, give it a keyboard shortcut and do the same with each one. For the echo, for the vocal verb, and the eighth note delay. And now, it's even quicker to just select the track, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it opens up with the name and the preset ready to go. Do the same with the vocal verb, the echo, and finally, the eighth note delay, with the name and the preset already set up. It's a pretty quick way of working, especially if you use the same few presets in a lot of your projects. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create preset-specific effects with effects chains in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.